It's Umsum time! What if the year 2014 disappeared? Oh no! I was awarded the Oscars in 2014! Oh, oh Umsum. To buy Umsum merchandise, visit umsum.com. Firstly, 2014 FIFA World Cup was won by Germany. If 2014 disappeared, German fans would be one sad lot. Hmm. Secondly, 2014 Winter Olympics were held in Russia. If 2014 disappeared, huh? athletes who won medals would huh? be extremely disappointed. Hmm. Thirdly, Rosetta, a spacecraft built by the European Space Agency, successfully performed a first ever comet landing. If 2014 disappeared, Space fans would be one sad lot. Hmm. Fourthly, One World Trade Center, the tallest building in the United States, was opened in 2014. If 2014 disappeared, huh? people in USA would be one sad lot. Hmm. Lastly, India marked the first successful flight of an Indian cryogenic rocket engine. If 2014 huh? disappeared, Space fans in India would be one sad lot. Hmm. <laughs> Why is Snow huh? White? Because it applies fairness cream. No. Sunlight or white light is a combination of all visible colors of light. <laughs> when light falls on an object, it may absorb some colors of light and reflect the remaining colors. The colors which are reflected by an object make up its color. For example, when light falls on an apple, it absorbs all other colors except red. Apple oh. reflects red color, <laughs> making it appear red. When light falls on coal, it absorbs all colors and does not reflect any color. Hence, coal oh. appears black to us. Really? I didn't know that. Now, snow does not absorb any colors of light and oh. reflects all of them equally. As the combination of all colors of light is white light, snow <laughs> appears white to us. <laughs> Why can't you huh? use phones on planes? Because phones can fall out of the window. Nah. It might huh? be because portable electronic devices like cell phones and tablets emit radio oh. signals. These signals can interfere with the flight controls. They may also disrupt the communication with the air traffic controllers on the ground. Oh. Besides this, cellular towers are miles below the airplane. Hence, cell phones try to emit a stronger radio signal to detect the network. This can increase hmm. the possibility of causing interference with the airplane electronic equipment. Really? I didn't know that. Hence, oh. portable electronic devices are told to be either turned off or to be kept on airplane mode or flight mode. Hmm. This prevents the emission of radio signals, thus helping to keep all the onboard equipment working oh. properly. <laughs> Why do koalas <laughs> hug trees? To look adorable. Not at huh? all. Koalas are found in Australia. In this region, the temperature can rise quite high during summer season. Hence, popular research suggests that koalas hug tree trunks to regulate their body temperature and stay cool. In the research, researchers took infrared pictures of koalas oh. hugging trees. Infrared pictures help us to detect differences in temperature. Dude, the pictures look so scary. Oh, just listen. Uh -huh. These pictures revealed that the trunks huh? are much cooler than the koalas and the surrounding air. This might be because the trees suck water up through the roots for their use. So by hugging the trees, koalas transfer their body heat to the trees to stay cool. Hmm. <sighs> Why do we yawn? Human huh? beings, including some animals, yawn. What? Animals also yawn? Absolutely. During yawning, oh. which is also called oscitation, we take a deep breath of air. Hence, a theory suggested that it helps our body bring in more oxygen and give out carbon dioxide. However, it is incorrect. Mm. A prevailing research <laughs> suggests that yawning regulates our brain's temperature. Mm. Our brain works best at certain temperatures. But when we perform various activities throughout the day, our brain gets exhausted oh. and sleep-deprived. Hmm. Both exhaustion and sleep deprivation increase our brain's temperature. Hence, to cool it down, we yawn. 
While yawning, we stretch our jaw and propel blood through blood vessels to the brain. Along with this, we inhale air through our mouth and nose. Air cools the blood going to the brain, which in turn decreases oh. our brain's temperature. <laughs> How do dolphins sleep? By covering their face with fins. No. Huh? Like humans, dolphins are mammals. They breathe through lungs. Hence, dolphins need to come up to the surface of water at regular intervals to breathe. Also, dolphins have to protect themselves from dangerous predators. Oh. Hence, they always need to be alert. Just like security guards, right? Oh, just listen. Each eye of a dolphin is directly connected to the oh. opposite hemisphere of the brain. Now, while sleeping, a dolphin shuts down one hemisphere and the opposite eye. In the meantime, the other active hemisphere keeps track of internal bodily functions like breathing, and the open eye looks out for oh. predators. After two to four hours, the dolphin swaps the sleeping task. It awakens the closed eye and resting hemisphere and shuts down the active hemisphere and the open eye. This type of sleep is called unihemispheric slow wave sleep. <laughs> Why do dogs wag their tails? Because they are happy. A dog's wagging huh? tail doesn't always mean that it is happy or excited. So, what does it mean? <laughs> Popular research and studies over the years suggest that the tail position and wagging direction represent different feelings or moods of dogs. When the tail is hung down in its natural position, it means that the dog is calm and is not worried. If the oh. tail is curled in between its legs, it indicates that the dog is scared or anxious. When the tail is straight up, it indicates that the dog is curious or wants oh. to show other smaller dogs that it is bigger and dominant. <laughs> Moreover, if the tail wags towards the right, the dog is expressing positive oh. emotions such as joy, excitement, etc. However, if it wags towards the left, it conveys negative emotions such as anxiety, stress, etc. Hmm. How do huh? bees make honey? No idea. To make honey, the worker honeybee sucks nectar oh. from flowers and stores it in its honey stomach. Once the worker bee returns to the hive, it vomits the nectar into a processor honeybee's mouth. Ew. In the processor bee's mouth and oh. stomach, an enzyme called invertase is added to the nectar. Invertase breaks some nectar into simple sugars like glucose and fructose. Huh? Then it vomits the partially converted nectar into another processor bee's mouth, who also adds more invertase, helping break down more nectar. This process goes on until most of the nectar is converted into simple sugars. Then, the mixture of simple sugars is stored in the honeycomb. Oh. At this point, the mixture is still watery. Hence, the bees flap their wings, which evaporates water and thickens the mixture to eventually form honey. Mm. Oh. Why do mosquito bites itch? Because mosquitoes don't brush before biting. Nah, a mosquito doesn't actually bite. What? It doesn't bite? Nope. Huh? A mosquito sucks our blood through a straw-like structure called proboscis. A proboscis is made up of six parts. Oh. Out of the six parts, four parts are used to pierce into our skin and blood vessels and hold the tissues apart. Through the fifth part, called hypopharynx, the mosquito drops its saliva containing an anticoagulant. Anticoagulant prevents the blood from oh. clotting so that the sixth part of proboscis, called labrum, can easily suck up the oh. blood. Hmm. Now, our immune system recognizes the anticoagulant as an invader. Hence, it releases histamine. Histamine dilates the blood vessels so that blood <laughs> along with immune cells can come to attack the invaders and heal the affected area. Oh. This histamine causes the itchy feeling. <laughs> Why can't dogs eat chocolates? Because I would love to have all the chocolates for myself. All right, now listen. Chocolates oh. and other cocoa products contain a toxic component called theobromine. Oh. The darker the chocolate, the more theobromine and the more it is harmful. But I eat chocolates and I'm completely fine. <laughs> Our body quickly metabolizes oh. the theobromine. Thus, mm. it is not quite harmful for us. However, dogs process theobromine much more slowly, so it stays in their bodies for a longer oh. time, resulting in vomiting, yeah. diarrhea, etc. 
Moreover, if large quantities of chocolate are ingested by the dog, the effects can be much more severe. The heart rate of the dog might be oh. twice its normal rate, increasing the blood flow. This can prove to be lethal to the dog. Hmm.